Just like we have viruses that attack humans, there are also viruses that attack bacteria. And these were given the name bacteriophages. Wakiwa wamevalia mavazi rasmi ya kazi, wanasayansi hawa wako mbioni kutafuta suluhu ya ukinzani wa kudumu wa dawa za antibiotiki maarufu AMR. Tuko hapa katika bwawa la High Rise jijini Nairobi kutafuta virusi ambavyo vitatumika kumaliza bakteria. Virusi hivyo vinapatikana katika mazingira yetu. Mtaalamu katika bunifu huu Ivy Mutai anatuongoza kwenye vituo vitatu bwawa la High Rise, mto wa Kibera na kichinjio cha Dagoreti kutafuta virusi hivyo. Kulingana na ripoti iliyotolewa na shirika la Lancet mwaka wa 2019, watu milioni moja nukta mbili saba walifariki kutokana na ukinzani wa kudumu wa antibiotiki AMR. Idadi inayozidi vifo kutokana na malaria na ugonjwa wa ukimwi kwa pamoja. Hii ndio sababu kuu ya kundi hili la wanasayansi kutafuta mbinu mbadala ili kupunguza utumizi wa antibiotiki kwa wanyama na binadamu. We collect the, uh, the samples the environmental waste water in volumes of 1 to 2 liters, take them to the lab and process so that we can at least enrich uh, our bacterial strains in the lab that are multi drug resistant to to screen for phages against them. Kulingana na tafiti kadha wa kadha, virusi vinavyokula bakteria humaliza bakteria mbaya mwilini na kuacha zile zenye manufaa. Hii ni tofauti na antibiotiki ambao huwa bakteria zote mwilini na kuongeza uwezekano wa kupata magonjwa zaidi. Wakati mgonjwa anapopewa dawa, wakati mwingine dawa hizo umfanya mgonjwa zaidi kulingana na dozi alizopewa. Kulingana na madaktari, hii ni moja ya ishara ya kuathirika kwa bakteria nzuri mwilini. For us to use the phage in treatment of a specific bacteria in our for instance gastrointestinal tract, we we are looking at how is it going to cause more harm than good. Then if not, why not use it? Baada ya zaidi ya saa tano tukitafuta sampuli za virusi tunarejea katika maabara ambapo wanasayansi wataweza kujua iwapo wamepata kile walichotaka This is a membrane system of 0.22 micrometer size so which will only allow a filter to pass through which contains phages only so what will be contained in the filter system or the filter membrane is only bacteria so we are only interested in the filtrate and not what is remaining baada ya kuchuja sampuli hizi zitaachwa kwa saa 24 tutaungana nao tena ili watufahamishe jinsi ya kutofautisha kuwepo kwa virusi ikizingatiwa ni viume wadogo ambao hawawezi kuonekana kwa macho ila kwa hadubini Siku iliyofuata matokeo yanaonyesha uwepo wa virusi vinavyokula bakteria ama phages clear patch indicates a light zone and the presence of phages you can subject to other physical chemical properties such as temperature how stable are they in different temperature conditions after which we can now send to our partner labs to do the genomic characterizations of these of these uh, phages and now to see how safe are they to use for therapeutic studies Kupatikana kwa virusi hivi ni taarifa njema kwa wagonjwa. Matumizi ya virusi hivi vinasubiri kupitishwa baada ya utafiti unaoendelea katika mataifa kadhaa duniani. Kulingana na mwanasayansi mkuu katika shirika la utafiti wa matibabu Kemri Daktari Lilian Musila, ingawaje matibabu hayo hayajapitishwa kufanyika nchini, kikosi chake kinaweka akiba ya virusi hivi ili kutumika wakati vitakapohitajika. Virusi vinavyokula bakteria kutibu wagonjwa vilitumika miaka mia moja iliyopita lakini ubunifu wa dawa ya antibiotiki ilisababisha matibabu hayo kupuuzwa. Mwaka wa 2015 mgonjwa mmoja alitibiwa nchini Marekani kwa kutumia virusi hivyo. Hii ni baada ya dawa zote za antibiotiki kukosa kufanya kazi. Wanasayansi wanasema virusi hivi huenda vikawa ndio suluhu kamili ya ukinzani wa kudumu wa antibiotiki. There is no barrier to looking for phages as they are for antibiotics which are much harder so anybody can go out and screen for phages and the chances are you'll find them in the environment. Mbinu hii ya matibabu huenda ikachukua kati ya miaka mitano na kumi ili kujaribiwa kwa binadamu nchini lakini wanasayansi wana imani kuwa iwapo serikali pamoja na washikadao wengine watashirikiana katika utafiti huu ndoto hii itatimia haraka na maisha ya wakenya wengi kuokolewa. 
Emily Chebet, Runinga ya Citizen, Nairobi.